Hey there, I'm Nick, this is Shannon, and our Go Anywhere Home Tortuga. Join us as we drive our Jeep exploring the Americas in search of amazing craft beer, the best beaches, and spectacular sunsets. We are Beer Beach Repeat. Salud! Here I am on the Intercoastal Waterway at Carolina Beach State Park. This is pretty cool. Pretty nice day, just going for a walk. Not too bad. See some intercoastal waterways. It's wild. Who knows? Alright guys, we just got to the Oregon Inlet Campground on Cape Hatteras National Seashore, uh, Seashore, uh, Outer Banks, North Carolina. We are we going to see the beach, but we are... First we have to traver traverse these dunes. These dunes. You know the movie Dune? <laughs> we, but the ocean should be over there. We'll let you know. Hello. We did it. There's the angry, angry Atlantic Ocean. We traversed the dunes. <laughs> we made it. It's cold. Yeah. Wind is blowing. Yeah. The sun is but trying the sun to come is out. trying to come out right into my eyeballs. But there's the ocean. Yeah. Outer Banks, North Carolina. Another beach. Yeah. This one probably ranks pretty low right now. So. It's lovely. I'm sure it's very pretty in the yeah. summertime. We just happen to come when it's cold, always. We are in state number 10 today. North Carolina. Welcome to North Carolina, the northmost Carolina. We've been in North Carolina for about three or four days now. I don't remember. But uh, but we didn't know if we yeah. told you that we yeah. were in North Carolina. And things don't happen unless we tell you, <laughs> our dear YouTube friends and family. Um, so we came into North Carolina and we hung out in Wilmington. Yeah, just south of Wilmington and Carolina Beach State Carolina Park. Carolina Beach State Park. A nice little campground. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, lots of trails. We saw some penis fly traps. I did not get them to eat a stick, which I was really disappointed about. Um, we hit up some not so great birds. Yeah. And uh, one great one. Yep. Shout out to Mad Mole. Mad Mole. I discovered I don't like moles. And shout out to the bartender from New South Brewing in Myrtle Beach who recommended Mad Mole for us. Yeah, I think the lesson here for us is if a bartender at a brewery recommends, that we are enjoying, recommends another brewery, skip all the rest and just go to the one that they recommended. Yeah. Clearly that's gonna be the best one of the day. Uh, Cause we had some real duds yeah, in yeah. Wilmington and we're not gonna say who they are nope. cause we're not about putting people not on blast bit. as the kids might say. Uh, but it was kind of a disappointing day. It's been a while since we uh, had bad 
Yeah, yeah, for exciting. real. No, a long time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, there were some bad ones. So, uh, listen, if we're good friends, text me. I'll tell you who they were. So to, today we woke up. We're in the Outer Banks. Yeah. So we drove to the the OBs yesterday. Spent some time on the beach. You'll see a little bit of that yeah. shortly. So the weather has turned. <laughs> Mother Nature's gotten cranky. She's so, having a day. Uh, if we wanted to continue chasing summer, we should have never turned north. Instead, we turned north because we want to see lovely family in the Midwest and You're friends. Welcome. And, We're coming to see you. <laughs> and all of that. Um, but. So the temperature hovered right around 48 degrees all day, all night, and then it... No, we turned the heater on last night. I know. I didn't think we'd have to have the heater on until maybe we got into Canada. But then we also said, like, why are we trying to be tough and, like, not comfortable? That yeah. sounds silly. It Let's was so nice. That so we kicked incredible. it on, watched some uh, downloaded Netflix shows, yeah. um, and just had a lovely night in the camper. Woke up this morning, and it was a boring rain yeah. so we waited nicholas got on his radar and we waited until the rain stopped ran to the bathrooms closed down the jeep real quick and now we're gonna head to a starbies yeah we're gonna hang out at the starbies a little bit and then have a coffee figure out our day Ten tonight we are hitting up state number 11 what? um 11. north carolina a short little area just like south carolina and then um like it's supposed to rain all day today so tonight's gonna be a. Uh, Another indoor night. Another indoor night. But then tomorrow is supposed to be really nice, and we have two nights at the next spot, so. And we talked about, it's crazy how much this camera moves. That's not what we talked about. I was just saying that as an aside, because it bounces, because we're in a moving vehicle. We talked about today how grateful we are for the Al you Yeah, for decisions we've made. This indoor space for not having, like, a rooftop floppy tent. Like, we saw some folks camping in a tent last night, and they were gone by the time we woke up this morning. But, like... To be Listen, we, be... we've done all that. We've done all the yes. tent camping. It's not like we we're very experienced tent campers in the pouring rain, in the wind, in the cold, we're very everything. But we are very grateful and very feel really fortunate to have the capability and the ability to be in this kind of weather and, and even worse weather. We've camped when yeah. it's been snowing before. Yeah. Like, because we have this really capable vehicle and that's how we're able to and be comfortable be on the road for two full years yeah. and like not want to die and not like get a hotel room every time the weather turns and like so uh yeah we're just full of gratitude this morning definitely and you know what it's really gorgeous and kind of cool to be here on the outer banks when it's all gloomy and rainy it's we really cool neat. lighthouse so um, like, and there's not a lot of people, and we, you know we don't like people. We so. said yesterday, like, did you ever think that we would have driven to the Outer Banks? And we both were like, not a no. chance. Like, I said, if you asked me to point it out on a map, oh, yeah. I definitely couldn't have. She could no, because no way. I've I've known about the Outer Banks for a long time. I've known I've, that they existed. It's really it's a really cool thing that's in America that I don't think a lot of people outside North South Carolina know about, like or Virginia, like for real, like. It is one of the, I think it's a hidden gem. And it's really pretty. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to drive through and explore a little bit. Yeah. We'll take some photos and share them with you all. Okay, bye. Bye.
side. of the drum. 